Well, a one-month-old Perth boy has died from whooping cough. The death of Riley John Hughes comes in the midst of a whooping cough epidemic with cases up by 300% this year. We're joined now by today medical expert Dr Rick Gordon. Good morning to you, Rick. Morning, Lisa. These numbers are frightening. 3,000 cases so far this year and we're only in mid-March. Why this incredible epidemic? Well, these diseases tend to go in cycles. We, we get epidemics uh, despite our best efforts at trying to educate people to vaccinate. Uh, we know we can't vaccinate very, very early uh, babies uh, up to about six, maybe eight weeks is the usual to start immunisation. So this baby has just been tragically affected before or by somebody around them who's had whooping cough who probably was not immunised. But, but even, I mean, the whole point of vaccination of those around little babies that aren't yet old enough to be vaccinated, that's the point. Why is that message not getting through? Oh. $64 million question, I don't know. We, we have these stories, uh, you know, what every once or twice a season we talk about this particular disease. It, the the take-home message is go and get vaccinated. If you've got somebody in the family who's just had a baby, if you're a grandparent, a sibling, uh, a relative or a health carer, somebody who's going to be in ch uh, around these children, it's your responsibility to get vaccinated. There's been a little bit of a swing, of course, against vaccination by some very ill-informed people about the risks of vaccination. Compared to the disease, vaccination, is, is, it's a really no-brainer. And that's the thing, I mean, it, even if you have been vaccinated in the past against whooping cough, you have to get topped up, don't you? Yes, you should, because, and this, this is a thing that we're looking at at the moment, is whether this bacteria is mutating a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just like we get a new viral uh, flu uh, epidemic each year, and the, and the flu shots we have are tailored to the particular strains that are around, it's possible that this uh, Bordetella pertussis, which is the bacteria name for whooping cough, that might be changing a little bit. So, yes, it's very important, if you've not had something in the last five years, to get topped up and vaccinated. And just remind us the ages at which our babies and, and children should be getting vaccinated. Usually start uh, for this particular um, vaccination at two months, four months, and then I think at six months. You're stretching my uh, memory about the last one, but certainly every new baby uh, should be vaccinated at uh, about two months of age. Okay, and let's not forget, most councils offer this for free. Absolutely. Depending on your state you're in, you yep. can get it if you're in a public hospital as a mother before you go home. Uh, and certainly in the private sector, we encourage all our mothers to be vaccinated either in the last stage of pregnancy or before they go home with their new baby. Okay, Rick, always good to get your insight. Pleasure.